Another method of taking input, in addition to a line number reader, is the use of a scanner object. And let me see if I can I'll just increase the font size a bit here. And it makes this a little bit easier to see, hopefully. Okay. And here I'm just importing Java Utility Scanner. And it works much the same as a line number reader, although I don't need to use the IO package and I don't have to use try and catch. But I would have to build a scanner object once I import the package. I do need to pass in system in, as with the line number reader and the input stream reader. And similar to read line, here I'm calling a function next line on the scanner object. And there are separate functions for just inputting integers um, or just reading a you know a single word delineate delineated by a space um, versus an entire line of text as you will with next line. But this is just another option or another method of taking input from the console as you would with a line number reader. And if we were to run that, again it's just spitting that string back out or feeding that string to me. Review. One, a scanner object can be used for console input, just as a line number reader or JAP champagne. Two, to use a scanner, you must include the package Java Util Scanner, like import Java Util Scanner from the utilities package. Three, after importing a scanner, you must build an instance of it, like so. I could build an instance of a scanner object, call it banana, use the keyword new, and pass system in to the constructor. Once you have built an instance of it, you may use the following scanner methods to retrieve input from the user. Next line to return an entire line. Next returns the next token or string. Next double, which will return a double. And next int, which returns an integer. Note, when using the scanner method next line, if you call it after next int or next double, you will need to consume the enter character left in the keyboard buffer by calling next line and then again redundantly before using it for your next line of input. Unlike other methods, next line does not ignore white space, and so there is no delimiter to separate entries after next int or next double. Example. Suppose we want to ask two questions. We have a double, a string, and a scanner object. Our first question is, what is the velocity of an African swallow carrying a coconut? We want to store that in our double, so we use our scanner object grail and call the function next double. Our next question is, what is your quest? We want to store that in the string quest, so we use the scanner function next line. The code above would skip the second question and never allow the user to input their response. The reason the next double method leaves the enter key press in the keyboard input buffer from the first question, so that the next time when next line is invoked for the second question, it retrieves the extra character as input instead of waiting for the user's response. The fix? We can call next line on the scanner object right after we call next double. Then we'll simply call next line again. This will consume the extra character left in the buffer and allow the user to enter their response for the second question.